Welcome to Racing Tech. Formula E is the forefront of innovation when it comes to electric performance vehicles. The introduction of this season's Gen 3 machine takes that innovation a massive leap forward. The latest Formula E machine is lighter, faster, and more powerful than ever before, but it's the series car's powertrain that has stolen the technological show. Formula E's Gen 3 car is the first open-wheel machine in racing history to forego rear hydraulic brakes. That's because the front axle is equipped with both hydraulic brakes and a 335 horsepower motor dedicated exclusively to regeneration. In electric vehicles, regeneration is the name for the process where a car's battery recaptures kinetic energy that would normally be lost during the braking process. You can then use that captured power to extend the battery's range. As an added bonus, regeneration also slows your car down, which is why some road EVs are equipped with one pedal driving where you just lift off the accelerator to shave off speed. It's also why Formula E doesn't need rear hydraulic brakes. Gen 3's Regen is so powerful that Formula E says 40% of the energy used in a race comes straight from that front powertrain. The Gen 3 car's power output taps out at 350 kilowatts, but the front powertrain can regenerate a staggering 600 kilowatts of power. That makes this newest car 75% more powerful than the first Formula E machine that debuted in 2014, and it has six times the regenerative power. As a result, the world's most powerful electric racing series has just gotten more competitive, further solidifying its role as a testbed for a road going. EV performance. For more deep dives on racing technology, visit jalopnik.com.